The AFC is absolutely loaded at quarterback. So if you ask me today, based on coach, coordinator, weapons, O-line, momentum, who are the top 10 quarterbacks in the AFC? Not going to count a Jalen Hurts or a Matt Stafford if he comes back. Here's how I would rank them. Number one would obviously be Mahomes. He's got the smartest offensive coach in football, the best tight end in football, an above-average offensive line, and they are rolling. Uh, that's a locker room with confidence in him playing from a lead or behind. Nobody plays from behind better uh, in the NFL than Mahomes. So he is he is the best quarterback in football, but the number one in the AFC. Number two would be Joe Burrow, who is the only other quarterback in the AFC that situationally, I feel, can go toe-to-toe with him. He's not quite as talented, but they have an offensive coach. That matters. Uh, uh, an elite star number one receiver and very, very highly productive number two receivers and running back. They also added Orlando Brown at left tackle. So um, I think the first two are easy. Number three would be Josh Allen. Say all you want. The kid is wildly productive. 35 touchdowns, and he's running for almost 1,000 yards a season. Aaron Rodgers has stopped running. He's 6'6", he's 250, he leaps over linebackers, and he's done it with a bad O-line and no run game. He is still wildly productive with the best arm, along with Mahomes in the NFL. Number four, I've said I think this is the pop year for Herbert. They get Rashawn Slater, the elite left tackle back, good weapons, Kellen Moore, offensive coordinator. And by the way, Herbert with a lot of stuff to deal with. Most passing yards and total touchdowns by any player in league history, including Mahomes with Andy Reid through three years. This year he pops. Uh, number five, Trevor Lawrence. They are no longer a rebuilding team. The best acquisition nobody's talking about is Calvin Ridley. They added Calvin Ridley to this team, the gambling issue. He was 7-2 and two over his last nine games. They are no longer a rebuilding franchise. Most of their money on the offensive side. I think he's number five. Number six, Aaron Rodgers. But defensive head coach. Incredibly young offensive weapons. Brees Hall, Garrett Wilson, McCole Hardman. So I, I do think there's potholes. I also think... He's not as committed in the offseason as the previous five quarterbacks, and he's older. I think he's out of his athletic prime. He doesn't run anymore, so he's number six. A number seven would be Russell Wilson with Sean Payton. They have upgraded the offensive line with Mike McGlinchey and Ben Powers. They've already had good tight ends, star young running back. Sean Payton next to Andy Reeves, the sharpest offensive guy in football. I think Russell goes back to doing some foot, some basketball on grass, moving better. Russell at seven. Number eight's Tua. Listen, is he going to be healthy? I don't know. But when he is, he's got a brilliant young offensive coach and the best speed weapons in the NFL. Not good. The best speed receiver weapons in the NFL with Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddell. Offensive line's okay. I don't know. If you tell me he plays 16 games, 15 games, I think they make the playoffs. He probably plays 11, and they don't. But I'd put him eight over Deshaun Watson, who's a bigger, better athlete. They've got a very good offensive line and an offensive coach and veteran weapons. So Deshaun wasn't terrible last year, but he was rusty. He won't be rusty. Again, they add Elijah Moore, but he's not really the guy. This team has a veteran wide receiver and a better O-line than Aaron Rodgers does. And number 10, Jimmy Garoppolo. I don't have Lamar Jackson in it because I have no idea what Lamar Jackson is. I'd put Garoppolo 40 and 17, 68% completion percentage. Jimmy's confident, played in big games, great in the locker room, not terribly durable, but I would put him over a Mac Jones barely. I don't know what to do with Lamar Jackson, so I left him out of the list. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.